Hi everybody, this is D. You know me as D for three on the forums. And like last year, I wanted to put together a jukebox editing tutorial. So this is going to be the way that you can import your own music onto NBA 2K17. And the, the songs that you put in will overwrite what's on the jukebox. You'll be able to go right into the game. And when you select a song under 2K Beats, um, say you overwrite the first song, it will be your song that plays. So the first thing I do is I get my music uh, and so I'll usually go to YouTube and I'll pick a song um, for the song that we're gonna pick today to import into the game. It's going to be In Stereo by Fort Minor. So um, I always test to see how my song starts. Uh, make sure there's no gaps at the beginning or at the end. Um, so this sounds good. And I also make sure it's good quality before I choose it. And then obviously go to the end of the song, see if there's any dead air um, that you might need to cut out. So this is the song that we're gonna choose. So I copy the, um, the link and I go to a YouTube to MP3 converter and convert. I hit download and it says in stereo for minor and I'll save it. So we're going to save that. Um, oh, that's my portraits folder. Um, you know what? We're going to save this into NBA 2K17 music. I have a lot of stuff going on here with mods. Um, I have two different folders in here. I have new, so when I just first download the song, and then I have new edited for when the song is done being edited. So go to new, and it's going to be in stereo for a minor, and save it. The next thing that you want to do is open up Audacity. You need this program. This program is fantastic. It will allow you to change the project rate, which is what you're going to need to change when you pull up the song. So I'm going to file open with Audacity. And I'll provide a link to Audacity on this uh, tutorial. And we're going to find in stereo Fort Minor. And the bars are filled up here. This is a good quality song. I don't need to do any editing to it. However, if I wanted to, I could, let's say it wasn't as loud as we needed it to be, I could go into Effect up here and choose Amplify and just amplify the song and that will make it louder. Uh, the other thing that I can do is if, let's say, I do want to cut off the end of this song, what I would do is I would select I could select part of it here and do edit delete and it would take off the end of the song so if you have dead air at the end of the song or at the beginning you can just delete those parts so the other thing too is you want to change your project rate to 48,000 so project rate 48,000 make sure you change that otherwise the song may play at a different speed than it's supposed to um, at least that's from my understanding. So 48,000. Then what you're going to do is you will export as .ogg, so .og. And so it's going to go into my new edited because now these songs are ready to go. So in stereo, Fort Minor, og, vorbis. That's what you're going to select, og, vorbis files, and hit save. So we're going to let that do its thing. All right, so there's that. So now we have our song. Now what we're gonna wanna do is go into NBA 2K16, I mean, excuse me, NBA 2K17 Explorer, which is um, Greg's tool, which I already have open. And major props to him for this tool and the testing done by TPM and, and whatnot. So you're actually gonna open up OC. That's the tab. And you're gonna scroll down and you're going to see all of these new audio files. What you want to do is go to the end of the new audio files and find where it says jukebox. So there we are. So it says new audio jukebox. And I believe this goes all the way up to like 50 maybe? Yeah, 49 songs can be overwritten and you can overwrite all of them, which is cool. So before you import, 
my recommendation, so this is going to be the first song, it starts at zero, so it's actually 50 songs. What you're going to want to do is have this window up so you can see if there's a size difference or not. If there's a size, size difference, you just have to wait a little bit longer. So we're going to select this song, the first song, yeah. and that's going to play. I'm going to turn this volume down a little bit here. And then what you're going to do is right click, import archive, and you're going to find your NBA 2K17 music. You have to change this to AUG audio, and then you're going to find in stereo, and then you can hear it. Don't worry about it saying core input error here, it, it imports just fine. It imports just fine. It's just, it says core input error for some reason. So what you're gonna do now is apply changes. This one does not have a size difference. So it says size difference here, but it's so slight that it's automatically, in like 10 seconds, we're gonna have our file show up again and we're good to go. There are longer songs that cause a bigger size difference. And what happens with those is you just have to wait a little bit longer. Sometimes two minutes, sometimes three minutes, somewhere around there. So let me turn this down a little bit. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what it looks like when you do a bigger size difference. So I'm going to go to size difference here. And we're going to, oops, went way too far. So let me go. We're going to go to the next song. So we're going to go to one. By the way, that song is successfully imported. That's good to go. The archive reloaded and you're going to hear it start over. That song is now in the game. Awesome. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to import a longer song. So let's go here. And let's see, what do we have for a longer song? I think... This song is... No, not that song. Let me go back into my NBA 2K16 music archive. There's a longer song. Um, let's do Trust by Megadeth. This song is actually long, so let's see. All right, so I'm going to hit Apply Changes, and I want you to watch the left side of the screen. I think this song's a little bit longer, so... Yep, there we go. So, you're going to have the size difference, but you, can, you don't touch anything, so just let it go. It's just going to take a little bit longer than... Um, it usually ta than the other one took because the song is a lot longer than the song that you're overwriting. So you're going to see it run through some info root numbers here. You're going to see like 10737, blah, blah, blah. And it's going to go through that for maybe a couple minutes. And then it's just going to reload the archive. This really is all about patience. When you start, when, when you're the person that's doing the importing, um, you always hope that there's not going to be a size difference with the, with the song that you overwrite um, because of the weight uh, with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post this tutorial in the, tutor um, in the releases and preview section, then it will get moved to the tutorial section by the moderators, and it will have the link to download Audacity so you can edit the songs and change the project rate like I just showed you. You're gonna have um, the link to NBA 2K17 Explorer, Greg's tool, which he did an amazing job with, and the cool thing is, is that's really all you need. Um, and it, it's cool when you get into the game and you are able to go into your 2K beats and check and uncheck those boxes for the songs and actually hear your songs in the game. Um, this isn't like the 2K14, 2K13 audio editor where you only have a limited length for the songs that you put in or you have to put in a song that's within 10 seconds of the other one um, or it's not gonna roll to the next song. This is gonna be your own jukebox within the game. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to wait for this to finish. And it's almost done. It will say done writing to tail testing, writing back tail to big archive. Um, and then 
this is the longest pause before it finishes. Um, while this finishes, if the game goes through a patch, like we just had a patch out for it, and that patch impacts this archive, this archive will be considered corrupt. So all you have to do is verify your game cache. The only thing you lose when you verify your game cache is your music. Unless you're using this tool for other things. So let's say you're not using the modded folder and you're trying to import archives. You're trying to import files. Um, you'll lose those too by ver verifying the game cache, I'm pretty sure. So don't get discouraged if for some reason a patch goes through and then you try to turn on the game and the screen goes white. That just means that you need to verify your game cache and you'll have to import your music all over again. I tested the modded folder because I know this question is going to come up. I tested the modded folder to see if audio files worked. I also tested the shared folder to see if audio files would work and they don't. So this is the way that you would need to import your music into this game. I think it's worth it if you think about it. Let's say they, you know, they're done patching the game and they don't have a patch that comes out for a couple months. You sit there and maybe you take an hour. Maybe you just take an hour to import your music. Uh, maybe even less than that, depending on how many size differences you have. And then, you know, somebody comes over and plays the game with you. Boom! They, you know, they're going to hear your music. Somebody broadcasts in on Steam. Boom! They're going to hear your music. Um, it's kind of a cool thing um, and just cool customization. Uh, for me, a big part of what got me into, say, NBA 2K modding um, was the, you know, other than the huge rosters like the UBR and URB, was the um, little things, you know, the scoreboards, you're putting in your own music, the art edits, um, the, um, the global edits to the presentation, you know, adding more sweat. It was the uh, it was the little things that really kind of roped me in, and, and you know, I'll never go back to to console for this reason. And and that's the other thing too is just to let everybody know this tool obviously is just for PC. Um, it's just for Steam users. So if you don't have the game, buy the game because it's worth it for all the modding capabilities we have this year and all the things that we can do. Um, this is almost done, but I do want to show you the whole process, so sorry if it sounds like I'm rambling on, uh, but it is almost over. We're just going to be patient here. What else can I talk about? Um, my rosters, uh, the draft roster is doing really well. Um, I just made a quick update to fix Cron Butler's port portrait. If you haven't checked that out, um, the roster name is UFDRD43, and that's just the letter D for the number four and the number three. Um, I'm working on the Ultimate Classic Teams roster right now, um, which is going to put in you know, up to 15, 16 new teams, and I have a few people working on that with me. Uh, Peace Man Not, Manny Live stated he would do some courts for me. Um, uh, we have TBM who um, said he'd try to do some touch-ups for me on some of the tweaks like Carmelo with cornrows, Jason Williams bald, etc. Um, I'm also looking at releasing um, an all-time teams roster as well, which uh, most players would have their portraits. So that's cool. Um, so we have a lot going on right now. So if you see, look on the left, it's, it's doing its final thing. There's the threads. Let me just wait. It's about to reload the archive. And there we go. So what you'll do to you know make sure it worked you can go down here the archives reloaded and you can select your two songs to see if they went in so that's the first one the second one so there you go um, any questions please ask on this topic I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you have a good day